I just created this 3D scrollable website. So whenever you scroll, you can see the product itself actually explodes into these 3D elements. And also you can see the way this text actually changes. And also as soon as the scroll finishes, this buy now button actually appears. So I'm going to show you the complete step-by-step -step process to create this sort of like 3D scrollable animated website. I'm also going to share the detailed prompts that we are going to use during this tutorial to create this kind of like animated websites so in this video we're going to create this exact same iphone 17 pro max scrollable animation and of course this is going to be an absolute beginner friendly video and we are going to use all of the ai tools absolutely for free so from idea of a new product to a 3d scrollable website i'm going to show you the entire process and every single step in detail also i got this idea from this youtuber so shout out to him okay now let's start and let's suppose i want to create this sort of website for iphone 17 pro max so let's suppose i have this iphone 17 pro max this image so what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a high quality 3d render of iphone 17 pro max so i'll just copy this image and then i can just use nanobrana pro or any other ai image generation model but i think we can use nanobrana pro because that is very accurate when it comes to like creating high quality images and also it is very accurate in terms of text as well if you cannot use nanobrana pro you can use any other free ai image models something like z image turbo or any other like free ai imagination models you can access these ai models from hugging face so you can just go to hugging face then just go to spaces and then you can just like look for any ai imagination models from there but in my case i'm just going to use higgs field and i'm just going to use nanobrana pro from higgs field so i just provided image of my product and now i just pasted this prompt that i just copied from here you can find link to all of these prompts and everything in description so this is the detailed prompt and i have just customized it i have just changed my product name in here i've just added my apple iphone 17 pro max product name and after that i can now simply just click on generate and now basically we are going to generate the first frame so our first frame is generated now you can see the reference image that we provided and based on that it just created this really high quality image of this iphone 17 pro max now i have already provided the prompt for the second image as well so this is the end frame prompt so i have just copied this prompt paste that prompt and then provided this same product image in here and now it is going to create the end frame uh, image as well so this is the last this is how it will actually the present the final frame of our animation basically so we got the first frame and we got the final frame now the next step is to create video out of both of these frames so video will actually start with this frame and it will end with this frame now to create a video if you don't have any ai video generation model the best option is to use uh, something like vo 3.1 so this is google vo 3.1 you can just like easily try it inside gemini or if you don't have access to vo 3.1 you can just like use any other free ai video generation model something like van 2.2 or just find any AI image generation model that allows you to enter a start frame and end frame. In my case, I'm just going to use Google View 3.1 through Higgs field. So I'll just provide the start frame and end frame. And this is the simple prompt. Again, this prompt is provided in that document, which is attached in description. So I'm just going to add the start frame in here and then this end frame in here. So now once both of these frames have been uploaded in here, now you can simply just click on this generate button and now it will create a video for us which will be around eight seconds long which is like good enough length for us to create that animation for us okay so there you go our video animation is ready now it could be better but i mean this is good enough for us to use on our website so what i'll do i'll simply now just download this animation simply click on this download button and download this animation now next thing is we cannot just use this video as it is on our website so what we need to do we need to just convert this video into images so you can use this tool by easygif.com you can just like add you upload your video in here and then it will just convert your video into different images i think around 50 60 different images depends on what sort of frame rate you select and what is the length of your video so there you go you're going to just select this lower frame rate which is five frames per seconds and the video length is of course eight seconds now you can simply click on this convert to jpg button and now you can see it is going to convert this video into all of these different images and then there is this button download frames as zip you can just click on that and now 
all of these frames have been downloaded in a zip file now i just unzip that file and these are all of the images that it has just created next step is now you can just like open your project so let's suppose in my case i'm going to use google anti-gravity and i'm going to just like create an empty next yes project so i just gave this command to create an empty next yes project you can simply just create any other react project and now i'm just going to give it animated iphone click on enter just choose all the default options and that's it now our nexus project will be ready okay so once this project is generated next thing that i need to do i need to just copy this folder this entire folder and then just paste that inside my project so there you go i have just added this folder iphone animated and added this inside the root directory of my project inside my this newly generated uh, nexus project and that's it now you can just like use anti-gravity and then just open this project inside google anti-gravity and then we can just like give our final prompt to generate our project for us so this is our prompt for ai code editor you can just copy it from this document and then you can just like copy this entire prompt from here and then after that you can just like give this prompt to anti-gravity i'll just paste this prompt and now i can just customize this prompt wherever i need to change anything any text so our product is iphone and i'll just replace all of these placeholder text wherever it is product type wherever you need to like customize the names of anything so you can just like easily do that now just make sure inside this scroll logic you can add total number of images i think total number of images were 40 images generated from an ai image splitter and then naming con conventions you can just like add your naming conventions in our case our images are named like this so easy give frame 001 you can just like add your naming convention in here and also make sure to mention the folder name in here please use images from slash iphone animated folder so just make sure to mention the name of your folder and then you can just press enter and now it is going to create our complete scrolling animation based on whatever we have already provided so you can see google anti-gravity has already started working on it and now in just few minutes it will just implement uh, the entire code base it will just update the entire code base and follow our implementation guideline as well it has already created its own implementation plan so now we can just like ask it to just follow this implementation plan and then implement everything for us okay so there you go anti-gravity has just completed this task there was an error i just pasted that error in here and now it has automatically fixed that error and our project is ready and if i just scroll down you can see this nice animation playing in here that is amazing so let me just click on refresh and if i just like scroll down you can see that nice animation so that's just mind-blowing so yeah with just a little bit more effort you can create something crazy using ai and all of these resources you can use absolutely for free you can use like nano brown absolutely for free you can use ai video generation model absolutely for free as well as i told you that you can use any ai video generation model that supports the start frame and end frame on hugging face so you can easily just like use that and then create a really high quality nice looking websites that can give this just like wow effect whenever user lands on those websites if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i see you next video bye bye